Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. Amon says, how do I get the passion back for the way you used to feel with girls before HOC? Focus on what you are, who you are, what you like to be, what you always like to be, what you prefer, what you want to be, that's all it matters. Your choice, not what the brain tries to suggest to you. You are the one who chooses or allows and makes possible for any thought or suggestion to become or not ever become in the vicinity of becoming any action or actuality. You have the power. So it doesn't matter what suggestion. So you focus on that. What you are, what you want to be, what you prefer to be, what you love to be. Love girls, love women, and that's how you've lived. That's how you like it to be. That's your preferences. Then stay on that. Ignore these other stuff and keep on going through life, doing what you need to do and accomplish what you need to accomplish. And in time, this behavior of yours and attitude of yours and the power of choices that you have, and clearly you know what you want and you focus on that and live your life will rewire your brain through neuroplasticity and this will eventually show you that you've got it all handled perfectly and everything comes back the way that you've always hoped it would. It's not, it's just a hoax. It's like HOCD is like something that every single one of you have experienced it. Intrusive thoughts, everybody has it in the world everybody but sometimes you've noticed and sometimes you haven't but this other thing that i'm going to mention to you i'm sure every one of you if not most all of you if not all of you have experienced it have you not experienced when a tune is looping in your head in your ear you know a tune like i don't know gilligan's island something like that i don't know if the tune is correct or not some tune that has been in your head at one time or another in your life, childhood or adult, who doesn't matter, has been in your head for hours, if not days. You couldn't get rid of it. You would sleep and get up in the morning, and then you still, during the day, it will hit you again. Something like that, again. Don't hold me to the note. <laughs> what do you think that is? Mm -hmm. Earworm, right? SSS, your stuck song syndrome. On that note, you probably have already answered me in your own mind that yes, you have experienced that. What do you think that is? There is no music. The music was there, I don't know, in, on TV or two weeks ago or a week ago. Uh, you didn't even, you know, it passed and three weeks later you have this note roaming around your head. And there is no musician, there is no song, there is no record player, there is no radio station that is playing it. But it just, you're hearing it. Dum, 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 dum. Why? Why are you hearing something that doesn't exist? Why? There is an imprint of that note that when you first heard it, it's recorded. And now due to the malfunction of the signaling system, that recording has gone loose and it's just playing it. It's not real. It has no existence. It's an imprint. A recorded song, tune, is being replayed because its imprints are there while there's no musician, no record player is playing it in actuality at the moment that you're experiencing that. It's a hallucination of sound. Hallucination. Not real. Not in existence. But you hear it like an imprint. Hmm? So, HOCD is also non-existence of an information imprint in your brain through the media and discussions and pictures and pictorials that is out there floating on internet and everywhere else and discussions as part of the life that we live, part of the world that we live in. That information has seeped through and left an imprint when it was recorded because we record 
all information, whatever it is that we get from media, from discussions, from books, from whatever that is happening in the world, and we get to know about it. We have this receiver that we get to know about. It. And it, when it's recorded, an imprint of it is left for the recording. And sometimes that gets played, but it's got nothing to do with me. I have no interest in that thought or image or activity or lifestyle or whatever it is for me personally. But yet I could see certain images, anybody I'm talking about. The same thing as the hallucination of the music, the sound, the imprint of it, because it was recorded. Somehow that information had gotten into your brain for that note, and then a malfunction of the signaling system had released it and starts creating that hallucination and an image of that sound, which you recognize it as the note that it is, because you're designed to recognize that. But it really doesn't exist. And HOCD is the same. You have that all that information that somehow seeped through the brain, which we all get all that information through the natural environment, the mediums in the world. We are aware of what is happening in the world, lifestyles, genders, and all that sort of inclination, so on. But it's got nothing to do with me. It's irrelevant to me. But I have that information recorded in here, like any other information that we record. And then signaling system can go rogue and malfunction. And then that, again, like a hallucination, starts turning the imprint into images and suggestions and thoughts and so on. But none of them are relevant to you. They're meaningless to you. They're irrelevant to you. But they are leaving their effect as a hallucination, just like the SSS. Stock Sound Syndrome. This one, H-O-C-D. It works the same way. But when it comes to that, because it has no interference with anything, it's not like, oh, that song I hate. No. Some people actually, about 30% of people actually are really annoyed with those hallucination of the sounds. And most of us find it as fun. Oh, I can't get rid of this. <laughs> I constantly, la, 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 la. I can't get rid of it. God damn it. What is, that's the extent of our discomfort, right? And we don't really think of it as discomfort. But it's the same mechanism as the HOCD and any other type of thing. Substance of OCD of that kind. Intrusive thoughts, I mean. But we are very conscious about that and very particular about that. And, and why? Because that has to do with our identity. And we are very focused on protecting our identity. If we were not against that sort of intrusive thoughts, uh, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't care. But because it is not us... Uh, therefore, you become annoyed, but you understand that this is a hallucination that something that is as of something that doesn't exist, like the SSS, stuck sound syndrome, then you wouldn't understand that's so a fuck it. I don't give a shit what kind of image it is. The fact that thoughts or images or suggestions of homosexuality shows up in your brain, a brain of a heterosexual, that doesn't mean you become homosexual or you're turning or you're living in denial. It just means the same kind of malfunction in the signaling system as it is in the SSS, stock sound syndrome. Trying to explain it to you, which means it's irrelevant. Everything about it is a hallucination, but because the brain is so powerful, it makes you think and makes you feel that thought react in the body because of the thought that thought makes you because the brain is so powerful and then you begin to think it's oh might be real no it's all creating a hallucination of something that doesn't exist if it can do it with the song it can do it with the images it can do it with the thoughts it can do it with the feelings but you gotta be smart to understand that none of that has any actuality and reality truth to it it's a hallucination malfunction of the signaling system in the brain. And the scientists have proven where we're talking about. The striatum, carded nucleus, and we all know how the rest of it is, which I don't want to go on through it because that will be the whole discussion. Anyhow, so having said that, let's move on to next question. But give me a moment. Let me have some tea. Mmm. Yummy. 